HS here doesn't designate a super fast rail route, but MG's largest SUV, which has replaced the GS in the company's crossover lineup. It's one of the most spacious mid-sized SUVs you could choose, yet it retails for thousands less than you'd pay for comparably shaped rivals. The usual MG formula, in other words, backed up by the normal lengthy brand warranty. Only one engine is offered here, a 162 PS 1.5 litre four cylinder turbo petrol unit that only drives through the front wheels. Customers have the choice of either a six-speed manual or a seven-speed DCT dual-clutch auto gearbox, which on top versions can also be manually controlled using the steering wheel mounted paddle shifters. Now, we'll be frank, there's nothing very memorable about driving an HS, but then you won't be expecting the ride and handling of this Chinese SUV to be cutting edge. We think that typical family buyers will probably be quite satisfied though, uh, true, body control through the turns isn't quite as well sorted as it is in, say, a Qashqai or an Attica, but the steering is quite well weighted and the car turns in accurately. Because this is a front-driven only model, you shouldn't expect to be able to engage in any serious off-road shenanigans. The relatively restricted ground clearance doesn't allow for that anyway. You expect plenty of metal for your money from an MG and you'll not be disappointed here. Don't be put off by the fact that an HS isn't much cheaper than say a Nissan Qashqai. It's quite a lot bigger than one of those, though there are still only five seats. There's an almost Mercedes-like feel inside too, or at least there is in this top exclusive variant anyway. Across the range, HS cabins are marked out by a high quality dash with welcome little touches like piano black finishing and satin chrome trim, as well as knurled effect piano key switch gear and turbine style air vents. There aren't many buttons, most features relocated to a large 10.1 inch center dash infotainment touchscreen compatible with both Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Interior space is class leading, something you'll especially notice in the rear where there's vastly more room than you'd get in a Qashqai or an Attica. It's almost possible to fit three adults here uh, comfortably, which is unusual in this class. Out back, there's a decently sized 450 litre boot, that capacity measured up to the window line. Fold the 6040 split rear bench and capacity rises to 1,454 litres. We didn't expect the HS to deliver class leading efficiency stats and it doesn't. It gets pretty close to the class standard though. The 1.5 litre petrol manual model manages a combined WLTP cycle figure of 37.2 miles to the gallon and an NEDC rated CO2 emissions reading of 148 grams per kilometre. For the DCT Auto, the figures are 36.2 miles to the gallon and 157 grams per kilometre. What about other running cost issues? Well, all versions of this MG come with an impressive seven year, 80,000 mile warranty as standard, which is better than most rival brands can offer. Uh, if you previously considered the kind of spacious mid-sized SUV your family needs, then looked away when you've seen the asking prices, then this MG HS is for you. It's practical, well equipped, and even quite nice to look at. You'll just have to get used to explaining to your neighbors what it is.